So the other day I was talking to a fellow lad and they were trying to convince me that the American dream is completely dead. Now, if you don't know what the American dream is, it's literally the notion that you could build from the ground up and create a life that you could never even imagine in other places in the world. And while some people might say that America is not the greatest place for equal opportunity and that it's actually the complete opposite, I believe that the American dream is one of the greatest things to ever surface with this country. But I will not disagree that there are other countries with better opportunities. I mean, I think that's a given. I think there are a lot of countries around the world that have their complete positives and a lot of countries around the world that have their complete negatives. But when it comes to America, I think there's a lot of balance in between. I'm going to take you guys way back to when my parents first moved to this country. Both of my parents fled the country of Iran during the fall of the Shah, which was basically a time where the entire country went under a little bit of chaos. They don't really report on it a lot in Western media and a lot of Western textbooks, but the fall of the Shah was basically the equivalent to an entire revolution in the country of Iran. And my parents literally left their country with nothing and took the chance and came to El Island in America. Now, when they came to this country, my mom worked as a JC Penney cashier for about 10 and a half years, and my dad worked as a construction worker. And to this day, my dad still does construction. He's a G. So is my mom. They're both G's. And they worked their way to save up enough money to buy their first subway location. Now, it's crazy when I started to hear this story because it kind of ties full circle into everything. My parents came from a war torn country that was quite literally like blowing itself up. And they came to this country with nothing and worked their way to build something for their kids and for themselves. And now, when we look back, at the story, I think the craziest part is that I feel like I myself am kind of a resemblance of the American dream along with a lot of my friends. I went from literally making minimum wage Subway sandwiches every day for five and a half years to building out a platform that I get to share and enjoy with millions of people from around the world. It's crazy how much that one thing could change your life and I think America is one of the only places where you could take that risk and take that opportunity to do that one thing. Say what you will about the current socioeconomic state of this country. I mean, America has a lot of problems. It has completely different problems from a lot of the places in the world. And a lot of the people do not enjoy the shape of this country right now or even ever. But I sincerely think that this is one of the only places in the world where you can come to this country and completely build yourself from the ground up into whatever your dream is. And I think that's what it means to have the American dream. I think just the ability to create something from nothing is so, so vital to any country. And I think a lot of people around the world don't have this opportunity. I mean, there's a lot of countries in the Middle East or even in Europe where certain things are very, very frowned upon. And they'll literally throw you in jail for something that in America is just a complete norm. And I think a lot of the world is getting to this point thanks to the help of the internet where a lot of open-minded conversations and just social consciousness is coming to fruition. But at the same time, a lot of places are completely underdeveloped in comparison to the socioeconomic state of America. Whoa, those are some big vocab words. But if you really don't think that you could build anything from the ground up in America, no matter what your situation is, please look at me and my friend Dylan, for example. Dylan was a Cold Stone worker that was a manager for about nine and a half, ten years time, and he grew to 10 million followers on TikTok and created this entire venture where he's going to build his own ice cream shop in New York City in just a little bit over a year's time. And me, myself, I went from literally slinging Subway sandwiches every single day as a minimum wage fast food worker to everything that we're all building together now. It's simply incredible, and I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys you could do anything that you put your mind to and you don't even have to be in America you could be anywhere in the world but the dream of building something from nothing is not dead in fact it's more alive than ever with the internet thank you guys for watching this video I love you make sure to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications peace and love everybody